Hey, what's up guys? Obviously it's Captain Obvious, and I have a game of Conquest on the map No Shar Canals in Battlefield 3 for today. And recently, actually today, a Battlefield 3 patch was released. Now this is a huge patch, I think it was about a gigabyte or a half gigabyte or so, something around that. And it fixed all of the issues I have had with Battlefield 3 over the past few weeks. Now I'm so happy this patch came out. It's fixed so many, you know, big, 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 big problems. I said big a lot. And in this video, I'm going to detail them, talk about them, see my reactions to them, you know, things that have to do with the new patch and just the great things that have happened because of it, making the game better, improving everything, stuff like that. Now there are a lot, a lot of changes that have been added in this patch. A lot, some new additions, some are... Bug tweaks, glitch fixes, etc. So, what we have is general performance and loading time improvements. That's a normal thing in patches. I mean, you, you, whenever you have a patch, be it Call of Duty, Gears of War, Battlefield, um, anything like that. There's only no games I know. You always have the, the little performance things tweaked, like the speed of the game, load times, that kind of stuff. That's always they're always gonna be fixed in the patch. You could you can expect that. Um, a black screen fix has been uh, occurring on some PCs, so they're fixing the black screen. I don't have PC. I don't know about the black screen. But apparently, it's an issue where if you try and load a map, you've got a black screen. So that's uh, that's good for them. Stereo went rendering support for graphics cards by Nvidia and AMD. I don't know why that was never in there because. As far as I know, those are the only graphics card, or at least good graphics card makers in the world. So that's a, that's a pretty much an issue. Fixed several crashes that occurred when joining multiplayer and co-op sessions. Um, I have experienced the multiplayer part, but not co-op, because the game has crashed. Not crashed the game. The connection to EA has been lost whenever I'm trying to join a server sometimes. That's, that's good being fixed. Fixed the problem with high-speed mouse movement. If you don't know, on a PC, you can change the setting on your mouse for when, if you're moving it in a certain direction enough, it'll accelerate and go faster. What the problem was, it was not going faster, but it was slowing down. So that's been, uh, that's been changed. You no longer take damage when a, from a friendly vehicle when sitting in an open position. Um, I don't know what that is. I never experienced that. So, uh, that's good. I've never experienced it, so the fact that they fixed it before I've noticed anything is good. Grenades now, now drop to the ground if you get killed while attempting to throw them. That is awesome. Um, like, whenever I run in a room, like, I want to, you know, throw the grenade in and kill the guys, but if I get killed, my grenade's not going to do anything. Now the grenade has a purpose to it when you want to run in a room and throw it at people. That's good. You no longer spawn too closely to enemies. Yes, I have experienced that. I was actually playing a game today, and I Spawn right, right behind three enemies, and I got a nice trouble kill, but it was bad for them. A large number of damage and range tweaks on number of weapons. That is great. I had noticed a lot of overpowering, some um, underpowerings of weapons, such as the, uh, the PDWs, like the PP2000 is over is underpowered. Um, a lot of the uh, assault rifles are a little overpowered in terms of their range and stuff. That's a good change. Uh, added round duration and tick summary at the end of the round screen. That's good. Because he never knew how long the round took or what like what the team score was and stuff like that. So that's good. Fix the problem regarding key bindings while playing. And now if you don't know what any non-PC players, a key binding is when you bind an action to a key. And I guess this is just a problem fixing the fact that they're not working. So that's good. Significant changes to the joint squad interface. And uh, I have... I like the, jo the new squad system that they have in uh battlefield 3 but some of the stuff they uh changed or added was they removed the find me a squad option now you can just now you just uh join a squad without it automatically finding you one you can join empty squads um the order of the options is changed um the, the private privacy flag has been disabled with a one-man squad uh, occupied, pi occupied squads show up colored blue so you don't know accidentally click on them and you're like oh okay and squads that are empty are white now. So that's good. 
They've also changed some server-side updates on Battlefield 3 for the PC. These are uh, pretty good ones. The EOD blot... EOD blot. The bot exploit is fixed. Now, this was a, a thing where people were getting XP, uh, you know, boosting from uh, in hardcore mode, where the um, the teammate would, would hurt the thing, and then someone else would uh, repair it, and they get countless amount of points. That's good. Crash fixes have been uh, fixed. Uh, Anti-stat anti padding measures taking this allowing rank servers to run obscure settings. Uh, I don't know anything about PC server settings, so that's if you know anything about that, look into that. Improve the team kill kick configuration. Don't know, I never experienced that because I play console. Support for unranked servers. Now this is uh, where what it's going to do is unranked servers. They, they don't report the scores to the battle log, so it's pretty much like it's like a fr free open server, and the server administrators they control all of the settings. So they can change like the respawn times, the weapon stuff, and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. They've added a uh, new battle log functionality, sharing your stats to Google, Google Plus, Google, Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. Uh, user profiles are now accessed without signing in the battle log. And a single sign in from battle log to origin, you can just sign in one place and you'll be signed in everywhere. This is a pretty, pretty big update. I'm happy they fixed a lot of these issues in Battlefield 3. My biggest problem was. Definitely, definitely the uh, the spawn thing. I was always being spawned behind and stuff like that. Like I, I'd, I'd spawn, and then someone would kill me. Literally a second after spawning. So that's uh that's pretty good. And uh, looking at some of these pictures, the new squad screen is actually a lot cleaner now, and it's a lot easier to uh, navigate. And I really like that. But another thing is on the squad screen, the the switch teams thing is still there. Honestly, I don't know why on a console. There is a switch teams button, but you can't switch teams. Uh, I've tried to do it many times, but I've not been able to switch teams. So if anyone can let me know about the switching teams thing, that would be great. But overall, like like I said uh, before, it's a great patch. I'm happy they rolled it out. I'm, I've always been happy with DICE's patches in terms of the amount of stuff that they fix in them. It's not like a Call of Duty patch where they only fix a few things. It's like a big, giant... I mean, look at the patch. It's half a gigabyte large. So, of course, they're fixing a lot of stuff. They're adding new things. They're not just fixing things. They're adding in new functionalities. They're adding in things into the game that weren't in it originally. I love it when these developers add things post-launch. Not even through a DLC update. They add it in through title updates. It's just a great thing to see that these developers are actually paying attention to their games. And they're you know, fixing problems and adding things that just make the game a lot better. Uh, another... On a separate note, Modern Warfare 3 patch was released, so I'll be going over that in another video. And uh, go follow me on Twitter. You know you know the deal over there. A lot of stuff. But my videos on the Respawn app on Facebook. And as always, rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.